Health Minister Dr. Joe Pasla and Health MEC Nomantung Komo Ralehoko are visiting the site of the gas tank explosion in Boxburg. This after 10 people died with scores of others injured and hospitalized. Linda Mnisi is there for us now. Linda, good morning. Great catching up with you. Obviously going a walkabout uh, with the minister at the moment. Yes, indeed, Sheila. We're doing a walkabout here at the Oratam Memorial Hospital for that deadly blast yesterday that killed ten people here in Boxburg in Gauteng. So the minister, you'll remember, was not part of that delegation that came to the scene yesterday. But this morning, what we're seeing is him being joined by the MEC of the Health, of the, um, in fact, Nomantum Komorale Hoku, who forms part of this delegation. You'll remember uh, that we were told about how the part of the hospital Hugo, was largely affected by what had happened and what uh, the minister here has been doing. He has been going around really assessing the damage that uh, that particular blast has caused. Minister, just your first impressions, Minister, of Looks like it's still getting um, that briefing and explanations um, around what he has seen so far. You remember those figures that we were told about yesterday, Hugo, about 13 employees of this very same hospital uh, were affected by uh, that blast and 24 patients who were already inside this hospital when that blast happened uh, were injured. So um, the minister then taking stock of what has happened and the damage and what will then uh, be required. Let's try to get some words uh, from him in terms of his first impressions. Minister, just your first impressions around what you've seen so far. Well, um, my, my first impression is that uh, um, things could have been worse. Um, and the damage which is there is quite extensive. Uh, we will obviously wait for the, the report of the experts, but just seeing from uh, you know, the proximity there to the bridge and the fact that uh, you, you might have seen that the generator which supplies the hospital with electricity uh, as an emergency backup, and that it is actually very close to, to where the fire came through. So that's why I'm saying that uh, it could have been worse, but uh, I'm sure we'll, we'll say a little bit more later. Yeah. yeah. All right. So the minister there leaving much more of the details. Have you seen your first impressions of what you've seen so far? I think I agree with the minister that it should have been worse. And we really want to thank everyone that was involved in rescuing the situation. You can see that there was an, a very strong, it, this truck was close to the hospital. For starters, and you can see that whatever impact it was very strong because you can see the roofs are falling, the windows have cracked, so it shows that there was going to be too much damage that was going to happen here for the mere fact that we have even lost lives. That's another thing that really worries us. All right, thank you so much for your time. We'll catch up with you a little later during that briefing, Hugo, that they'll be giving us um, as they finish off this walkabout, really assessing the damage that has been caused to this hospital. I think one of the things that um, we noted was just the falling of the roof um, where we come from and a number of uh, you know, units quite damaged as well. The admissions from where we come from, also one of the things that has been affected if you look outside, um, you get a sense that the blast was really huge. I mean, from the, even the cars that, that were affected by this, there's a tent outside that was also very badly uh, damaged as a result of uh, this particular blast. So seemingly a lot of work still needs to be done in terms of making sure we'll come this way um, that uh, everything and services are are resumed really and that um, 
you know, work continues at this particular hospital, you'll remember we're at the peak of the festive season and around this time, health uh, medical staffs are usually very busy. So the impact then um, will then determine what needs to happen. The Premier of Gauteng yesterday telling us uh, that, uh, you know, the investigations will indicate whether or not there is a need to evacuate this hospital. The Minister has already said that the experts will be the one who will give them a sense of what needs to happen, whether or not this hospital uh, would need to be evacuated. But at this point, what we know is that services continue and, uh, you know, uh, the mop-up operations as well are continuing outside. Lena, if you, if you can hear me, the, the one issue that, would, uh, that we are aware of, obviously, is that uh, 10 people lost their lives, and there are a number, of peop a number of casualties. Do we know how those individuals are doing at the moment? Well, that's the information that we're going to be getting at this briefing, and that is why the minister uh, made sure that he kept it very short in terms of what he makes of the situation. At a later stage, we'll be getting a sense then of the numbers and what the numbers say about those casualties. We know that that number during that briefing was revised down, and later we got an update that a tenth person uh, had died. So at this point, over uh, the past couple of hours, what could have happened is, you know, um, health officials have been really hard at work trying to make sure uh, that they save those lives. People have been severely burned and people lost, lost their loved ones in this blaze. So it's really a tragic time for uh, the families who still are trying to make sense of how things could have happened. In fact, I'm reminded of a conversation I had with one lady. She lost about four members in her family and she says the driver could have warned the people that were around the area, the people that lived in the area about the possible dangers that are involved in what was happening and maybe, maybe lives could have been spared. Linda Manisi, appreciate your time and he's tracking that story around the gas tanker that exploded and that killed 10 people yesterday out in Boxburg. We'll continue to track that story as he is uh, with Health Minister Dr. Joel Patlan.